there's one thing called a bat hang. That's uh, a lot of fun. Bat hang, when you go upside down and you grab the rope. So that's called a bat hang. My name is Adrian Sassine, and I am a Georgia State alum, got my MBA there. I am the director of marketing at a uh, branded apparel and promotional product company called The Icebox. We are here to talk about recreational tree climbing. You've got uh, some examples of it going, going in the tree behind me. But we uh, explore the trees and we do it for fun. We are kind of the opposite of the guys that take down the trees. We're up there having fun, enjoying the outdoors, and we take care of the trees while we're up there but really we're, uh, we, we're doing the recreational side of it. It's, it's a sport, there are some competitions, but really we're up there, we teach classes, we do birthday parties, we take kids up, uh, we can take you from beginner to advanced. We, we take people that are five years old up to 95, and uh, really it's something that anybody can do. It's a great workout, and uh, I love it. It's become a passion of mine. All right, what we're using here is a half inch rope. All right, it's a, kind of your standard entry level tree climbing rope. If you look very carefully, you can see a little blue thing right down the center of that rope. And what that does is tells you if you, this rope ever gets frayed and you start to see the blue, it means it's time to get rid of this rope. And do my twist, I go back through. All right, okay. Then I'm gonna get my other main line and then tie the main knot that we climb with. This is called a Blake's hitch. It's a 5-3 Blake's hitch. We refer to it as the magic knot. The reason that we call it the magic knot is it allows us to go up, it allows us to come down, and it allows us just to stay still. All right, so what I would do is to take this little loop right here on my figure eight, put my carabiner on it, and attach it to my harness. So then we'd be ready to go. All right, let me put my feet back in my foot loops. Okay, so I'll raise my foot loop up, grab my rope, advance my magic knot. That's a sequence of just a couple steps we do over and over. We're about uh, 20 feet up in a tree now. And again, this is a, uh, a beautiful oak tree that we're in. And what's great about tree climbing is you can hang out and just sit and relax and read a book, or you can keep on climbing and have a great workout. So, you know, here I could go up another 30, 40 feet, or I can switch to this branch, or what's great about this tree is I've got tons of options. I can re-rig and go up pretty much any branch I want. If anybody's interested in tree climbing, there's a great book called Wild Trees. It's all about out west, the redwoods, when they started measuring them, realizing how much of the forest we've cut down, how much we don't know about the whole ecosystem in the trees. It's an incredible book. And I'd say I'm about 35, 40 feet up right now. So now we'll do a, a descend. I'll make sure my line's clear before I go down. Make sure my rope can reach the ground. I'll reach up, I'll put two fingers on the magic knot, and I'll squeeze it nice and slow. Not too hard, not too fast. If you come down fast, you can burn yourself, you can burn the rope, and you can burn the tree. So it's not like uh, rappelling where it's really cool to come down fast. Here you want to come down nice and slow. I keep my second hand on my side, let the rope just run through it free, and if I ever wanted to stop, I would just grab it and that would instantly make me stop. So again, it's just another safety protocol. So I can come down nice and slow and controlled and say goodbye to the King and Queen building. And uh, just another day in the trees. If you're interested in finding out about tree climbing, there's lots of resources online. The best place to start is treeclimbing.com. Um, you know, Peter Jenkins is actually who, and he's actually climbing in the tree behind me. He's who invented the sport of recreational tree climbing. He's an arborist by trade. Um, you know, when he first began about 30 years ago, uh, the arborists didn't want him to teach recreational tree climbing. They thought people were going to get up there with chainsaws and start to cut down their own trees. And, you know, here we are 30 years later and the arborists love us because they realize that we're helping support tree care and you know, teaching people to climb and love the outdoors and love trees and people are not getting up there with their own chainsaws. Tree Climbers International is the uh, world's first recreational tree climbing school. We started in 1983 and we teach people how to climb trees. Yes, I did train Adrian. He's uh, one of my earlier students and he's, he's a crossover too from the rock climbing arena and 
good climber. Uh, the main difference between rock climbing and tree climbing, first off, rock climbing is generally two-dimensional. It's like you're on a face or on a wall or something like that. And, and tree climbing, it's three-dimensional. Also, too, uh, the tree is alive and rock is, well, depending on who you're talking to, rock is dead. Um, trees you can kill if you do bad things to them, like compact, compact the soil or something like that. Whereas rock, if you do something bad to rock, like cracks and stuff, well, the rocks are going to still be there. So they're, they're more fragile. So you have to be more careful. 